Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'm going to show you how to save your own preset library sounds. So this is really useful if you use quite a lot of your sounds in multiple tracks. So in this example, there's a sub bass that I use quite a lot, so I just save a preset of it so I can use it all the time, basically. So I don't have to keep going in and making it, I can just adjust it and tweak it so it suits that track better. So it's nice and simple, I'm just going to save this sub bass track as a preset so I can use it in other projects. So we just need to open up our library by pressing this button here or pressing Y for the shortcut. Go down to save, just make sure we have the right track selected. Press save. Save it as whatever we want, so simple. And now it's saved it with everything on it. So it's just saved my massive presets and this simple channel EQ on it as well. But obviously it will work with as many plugins on it as you have or whatever else you have going on. The only thing it doesn't save are the buses that's sent to it. It will save what bus you're using and the input you're sending from that bus. However, it won't save what's on the bus itself. So it's better to just save it without any bus sends on it. So now when I want to open this up, I simply go in, make another track, open up the library again, go into user patches and it'll be right there ready for me to use and it will load it all in with everything on it. As I said, this is really, really useful if there are some sounds that you use quite often because it just saves you the time of having to go through and make them over and over again. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.